from home or staring at your computer screen, mindlessly scrolling through social media, our eyes are getting more screen time more than ever. And it's not great for our eyes. Bianca Peters, she can attest to that. We're all like, especially I think after COVID, do you yeah. find like your eyes feel like they got a little they got worse? They tired. They yeah. got tired and it's hard to focus on things. We've seen this happen throughout the past two years. It's been a trend. So May is Healthy Vision Month and we do want to remind everyone to get your eyes checked, including myself. I got to visit Dr. Sai at Line of Sight Vision in Hudson Yards for a take on eye health and where it's heading. It's pretty surprising. And it's estimated that in the next, I think, 10 to 15 years, half the world globally will be nearsighted. A crazy statistic. So what's causing it? With the change in working from home or lifestyle and spending more time on screens and our phones and children starting to um, study more at home, there has been a shift in myopia progression. When you're nearsighted, that means up close you have short, uh, clear vision. Got distance, it. you have a harder time seeing. Okay, I always got those confused. And like many things that went unattended over the pandemic, it was our eyes, even if you think you can see just fine. You can still have perfect vision, but that doesn't mean that your eyes are necessarily healthy or unhealthy. We check for a range of other medical conditions that may not lead to blurry vision at first. Examples are glaucoma, things like diabetic retinopathy. Okay, and for everyone watching, I have waited 15 years to do this. Don't be like me. So step one, we're going to get a front map of the cornea, and then we're also going to use this to turn your prescription. Okay. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to warn you, it's not going to be great. Oh no, we'll find out. <laughs> we're going to look at the hotter blue at the end of the road. Open your eyes nice and wide. That's it. You can sit back. And so we're going to save the image and I'll tell oh, you the answer. Uh, we won't know yet <laughs> until we get like, Absolutely not. <laughs> we're going to take you into the room and we're going to do step two. So we're going to see uh, how well you can read uh, without correction on. Oh, so you don't so. Have, you don't have the old school like E B F cover one eye. You don't. That's... We we do. We have a digital version. What's the lowest line you can read? Um, yeah, only the top one, and I can barely read that. What does it say? Uh, D P. W, I think, I'm pretty sure that was a Z. That's definitely a Z. Can you read the next line, or is that difficult? Uh, absolutely not. And we're going to check the left line. All right, change the letters. What's the lowest line you can read here? Are you kidding me? These are all over the place. I think, that, I think there's a Z in there. But to be honest, they look like they're like this side, that side. We're going to go one step higher. Let's go there. Okay. I think there's an F. There's a, this, the, the top one. I see a Z. No, that's not a Z. Right now, uncorrected, your right eye is about 20, 30, and your left eye is about 20, 50. And so the journey to 2020 vision begins. So this is a digital refractor. What we do is we use this to determine your corrective power, and this is the final correction. Oh my gosh, I can read all of that. E-Z-C-K-U-Z-C-K-M-U-Z-K-C-E-N. Perfect. That's 2020. That is bottom. crazy. What have I been doing for the past 15 years? <laughs> Prescription done. Now it's time for the frames. Which one suits me best? We'll see. Okay. I like them all on you. I picked these. <laughs> it was funny because I did a little poll on Instagram when I was doing this story. And I was like, which ones, you know, you guys like the most? <laughs> these are like the least. But uh, these are the ones that I liked. And also, that's also because my girl Zendaya she has the same ones. We found a picture of her wearing them at some award show. Look at that. She oh, pulls them so off. Funny. So yes. if anyone tries to say that they're not cute, and they're, I was like, they're vintage, okay? They're vintage. They're, I was about, <laughs> they're definitely a throwback. I think I've worn those before. Anyway, <laughs> like when it really first came out. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, they look great. All of them look great on you. Well, I might, so. be, I might be donning these a couple more times. I mean, I can thankfully read the prompter, but it's just further that it gets blurry, so... Wow. Just good advice to get back to the doctor. Right. I think everybody kind of put it on hold for the last few years. A lot of things. A lot of things. So yeah. let's get back on track. Okay. Thank you, B. Uh, meanwhile, a primetime soap based on a fictional first family of countries.